Hello, welcome to Geeky Hijinks, home of the Mischief Makers, and today we're looking at Wrong Turn. So before I go into the plot and the premise of the movie, I've just got to check in with PG. He's in the woods at the moment scouting for a great location for me to film the greatest, most authentic Wrong Turn review in history. But he's taking his time, so i just got to check in with him. PG. PG, can you read me? Hello, sir. So how's the scouting going? Have you found the location yet? Actually, sir, I think I'm a little lost. It's actually quite scary here, and I keep seeing things in the corner of my eye. And this is exactly why I sent B-Rex. Not only is he the greatest, deadliest bounty hunter the universe has ever known, he was also orienteering champion in 2010. And nothing says safety like orienteering. Ah, very correct there, uh, woman. I was orienteering champion in 2010. I would have had 2011. But I got lost on the way to the competition. But on this journey, we'll be fine. I've been eating these mushrooms along the floor for energy to keep me focused. Mushrooms? Yes, I found them along the floor, but oh, I seem to have run out. Never mind. We better get going before it gets dark. Nothing will distract me. Nothing. Oh, beautiful butterfly. Come here, butterfly. I want to put you in a job, butterfly. Well, sir, I feel so much safer already. Thank you very much for your kind words. I'm going to go now and find you that location if it's the last thing I do. So what's the film about? Wrong Turn, directed by Mike P. Nelson, is about a bunch of friends hiking the Appalachian Trail and are confronted by the Foundation, a community of people who have lived in the mountains for hundreds of years. So I'm going to touch on the controversy regarding the casting in this film. Any point I'm going to say, and I say controversy because it's not really. It's just that some people have gone into this film hating it because of the casting, and some are just unbothered. And I'm falling into the unbothered category because, yeah, you do get some films and TV shows and video games and other forms of media that are just trying to spoon feed you their own political agendas or beliefs. And we know those things. Like straight away, it's blatantly obvious when that is happening. Doctor Who, I was a massive fan of, and I was all up for a female doctor. Some people were like, no, she should stay a guy. But I was looking forward to a female doctor. But the stories, I didn't like. The stories were just bashing certain groups or had their own politics in there. And I was like, look, I'm all about watching TV shows and movies about this like sort of subject, but not in something I'll watch to escape. I don't play Super Mario to learn about politics, about the Mushroom Kingdom. I just want to play, I just want to play Super Mario to escape the craziness of real life. So anyone saying that wrong turn, you're trying to force feed you their wokeness, their agenda, it's not the case at all. So I'm a big fan of the 2003 version. Of course, people are gonna say, but the hills have eyes. It's basically the hills have eyes, but the woods have eyes. And I can see that, but I enjoy this film. It's got a lot of nostalgia factor to me. It reminds me of being a teenager, because it kind of came out, I don't know when, 2003, I don't know how old I'd have been then, but it kind of came out in that time frame, maybe early 20s, but it has a lot of nostalgia for me, and I watched it straight after this one, just to remind myself, because I haven't watched it for years, and it still holds up pretty well. It's fun, it's dumb, but it still has really tense moments, and it has some really iconic moments in that film as well. I really enjoyed it, like the, the Watchtower part, that's really good, and the beginning where they're running from the cabin, so many memorable scenes, which is what I can't say for this film, the wrong turn that came out in 2021. I don't think it has anything memorable about him. And in my opinion, I'm gonna put it out there, this version is not as good as the 2003 version. So what did I like about the movie? I'll tell you in a second. I've just got to check in with PG because he's taking his time. He should have been there by now. So let me just check in with him really quick. PG, PG, are you there? Why, hello again, sir. So how far are you from the location? Because I wrote out the review, I've almost finished my practice. It's getting a little dark, I'm just so eager to create the most authentic, greatest review history has ever known. Well actually, so I'm a little confused. This sign says to go two ways. I don't know which way to go. Well have you asked B-Rex? He's the orienteering champion member in 2010. Ask him, he may know. Well that's a good idea, so I'll do that just now. Where? Oh my god, he's gone, so I'm sticking him with two. Butterfly, there you are, butterfly. Thought you could escape me, butterfly. I want you, butterfly. Now come here, butterfly. You got to wear a sneaky butterfly. Come here, butterfly. Calm down, PG. Calm down. There's a rational explanation for all of this. 
B-Rex, he's no dummy. He's climbed a tree so he can survey the land much better than he can on the ground. So if he sees anyone sneaking up on you, he can pounce down, take him out, and you'll be safe. You've probably been attacked like 10 times already, and you don't even know it. See? That's how safe you are. So I'm going to draw you a quick sketch really quick and send it to you. So when you get to the place, you'll have no doubt that you're there. So it doesn't matter if you go right, it doesn't matter if you go left. If you get to a dead end, you just turn around, walk the other way, and you'll get to the location. You see? Nothing to worry about. I'm a B-Rex in the trees. You're completely safe. You see? I look after my guy. So give me one second. I'm just going to draw you a quick sketch. And sent. My God is beautiful, sir. I feel much more better now, sir. Now which way to go? I choose this way. Now what I liked about this film that some people didn't like was the concepts. Now, I didn't want three brothers cannibalistic, living in the woods, cutting people up. That's been done. And I've got my movie for that. If I want to watch that story, I'll watch it. And the first one I'm going to point out isn't a masterpiece. I just really like it as a standalone horror movie. Second one's okay. Haven't watched it for years. The other ones, I ain't bothered with because I know how they're going to go. It's just done. But the first one, like I said, has a special place in my nostalgic heart. So I've got that movie. So this is different. And the direction they went with, with the foundation, being this almost like little cultish, walking dead, like secret town like with the what's his name the colonel i forget now what his name was but it also had like a last of us video game the first one even the second one that sort of like isolated have their own group cut off from the rest of society they have their own rules laws and, and regulations they have a way of life that they will have no one else interfering with so it reminded me of that and i like that it's probably the most interesting part of the entire film yet you barely spend time there now the special effects and gore in this film were great but those saying that this film is really gory and it's really, oh, it's really disgusting, it has some great deaths. What are you talking about? This film isn't gory at all. No, I said good gore effects. This isn't a gory film at all. And having after death effects doesn't count. But it will show someone die off camera. Then they'll show what it looked like after. Now, anyone's watched The Walking Dead. Uh, what's his name? Was it Glenn? I think it was Glenn. Who got his head bashed in by Negan. With the baseball bat that's gory that's horrific and this film emulates those scenes a little bit but the after death effects especially with the tree when the when the tree um the big tree log rolls down the hill and slams into one of them and that's from the trailer so no spoiler the after the after special effects for that was so disgracefully disturbing i loved it and i thought that is cool so anything that happened after their death was great you just didn't see it happen to them how hard was it to see the tree go smoosh? I don't know, but budget reasons maybe, but everyone died off screen. Literally, and the ones that died on screen were like gunshots. And it's like, oh, gunshot death. Now, unfortunately, that's all I have to say about the good stuff because I didn't really enjoy this film and I've got more bad points to go through than good points. So let's jump in. Now, the first thing I didn't like about this film were the characters, bland. Like I said earlier, you can have a really diverse cast. Doesn't matter where they're from or who they are. But if they're not memorable, you can't care for them. If they have no personality traits you can latch onto that makes you care, then who cares? And there's a scene where they go to this bar early on in the film. They're getting stared out because everyone there is clearly different to them. And one of them says, oh, why don't you get a real job, blah, 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 blah. And then the main girl, she's like, well, this person's this, and this person's this, and this person's that, and that person's that. And that's like me saying, this is Pat, he's a postman, this is Thomas, he's a tank engine, this is Dora, she's an explorer, and this is Paddington, he's a bear. Now you can't expect me to care about these people just because you listed off what they do for a living and their personality traits. It doesn't work like that. For me to care, I need to be invested. Like the first wrong turn, that couple, the one that get killed in the middle of the film. I felt generally bad, especially for the guy, because he seemed like a really fun guy, they're engaged, they're talking about their future, and they were just having like background conversations, which you could hear as they're walking along the trail to try and find a phone so they could then get off this track before the madness kicks off. So when they died, I felt generally bad. When people died in this film, I just couldn't care less. And Matthew Modine, 
who was the dad of the main lead girl, the one that was like the main character. He wasn't a bad actor. He was actually good, good acting in this film. Oh, but I can't believe for one second, him, who just reminded me of Mr. Burns, <laughs> trying to rescue Smithers from the woods. That's what he reminded me of. I was like, this, no offense, old man with, how, with like half his age wife. I want to know more about that. I was like, how did he land her? <laughs> so the dad tracks her down to this town that she was staying at in Virginia, does a bit of investigating, which is really boring by the way, really drags the film down. And he works out that she's gone into the woods. So she, he gets told like, oh look, this, this is going on in the woods and blah, blah, blah. And this is another issue I'm gonna bring up early. Why are the townspeople helping now? They know how many people have died or got kidnapped on that trail. Yet they're like, you know what? My nephew was kidnapped years ago. I did nothing. But for you, old man, I'm gonna help. So the dad, he then tracks down these guides who say to him, watch out for the traps. They've set traps everywhere. And they find one trap in the beginning. And then the guides, spoiler by the way, get killed by the next trap. And you're like, oh, oh, idiots. The kids from Goonies would survive longer than you. And the dad then has no backpack. He bought a backpack. He goes there with no gun, no weapon. He just heads to the foundation to find his daughter. And I can't for a second believe that this Mr. Burns going to rescue Smithers from the woods can survive the traps without any help. He gets to the compound, no problem. He breaks in, no issue. He gets in and more stupidness happens. But I was just like, um, how did he get here so safely? How has anyone struggled to find this place when old man Burns here found it perfectly? Now Liam Neeson, if he was cast in this role, going after his daughter in the woods, I believe that. I believe you can survive everything. Dodge the traps. Dodge anything that comes his way. Get into the compound. Door over his shoulders. Out. See you later. Job's done. I can believe that. And there were so many plot holes in this film. Like, the leader of the foundation says, if you try to escape, if the animals don't kill you, if the terrain doesn't kill you, if the weather doesn't kill you, my men will kill you. And I'm thinking to myself, I have not seen one animal, apart from the dead deer on the bonnet of their car, the entire film. So what are you talking about? The terrain? I think it's harder to get down my road than it is to get to the foundation. Everyone gets there so easy. The townspeople, the dad, they do. With all the traps around, no one set one off. Apart from when the film's like, plot convenience. And the weather, um, it's like a normal day in England, just cloudy. Where's the danger? It's not like the film alone where it's raining and that, that could cause a problem, hypothermia and all that. Um, hypothermia, big extreme, but you know what I mean. No one likes to get wet. The one thing I didn't like about the film was how easy the main lead became this Ellie from Last of Us, Lara Croft from Tomb Raider, beast of a woman that could take down a fly with a bow and arrow and pinpoint accuracy with a knife. It just didn't seem realistic to me. She like become this like, I'm a normal woman just saying, I'm just, make coffee for a living to I am now bow and arrow champion of the world. Not believable at all. But the worst part about this film by a thousand miles was the ending. My God, the ending is awful. Now this film, I wouldn't have watched again. It was all right. I'm glad I watched it, but I would never touch this again. It's got no reason to bring me back. The 2003 version just drips of early 2000 goodiness and has that like, dumb fun thrill ride to it. So I can watch that again because it's entertaining. This wasn't entertaining, but the ending. Now the first one was great. If it ended like that, I'd have been like, that's messed up. I still like not too keen on this film, but that was a good ending. Messed up, dark, strong. I liked it. That wasn't the ending. They go to a second ending, which was dark. And you thought, okay. Not as good as the first one, but I like it, it's messed up. But no, you get the credits. Now, were the credit scenes filmed after the film was made? Did they watch the film back and be like, no, no one's gonna like this ending. Or no one's gonna like the first ending, let's film the second one. No, no one's gonna like the second ending. Let's film one, but put it in the credits so people can stick around. And when the credits rolled and they showed their last scene, it was so dumb. I can't stress to you how stupid it was. It doesn't make any sense. If you really think about what would have gone on 
in those last moments. It, there's no way that could have happened. It's impossible. It was stupid. It was such like a yeah moment. But I was like, no, what are you doing? This is the worst ending you could have done in your entire life. And you went with it. You're idiots. I now hate this film. Don't like it. If you watch the film and you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments because maybe you think, no, that, oh, I love the ending. The ending was, my God, it was the best ending I've ever seen in my life. But for me, I was like, this movie sucks. And the movie was average at best being generous, but this just makes it terrible for me. Now, before I move on to the final thought and the rating on the movie, I've just got to go to the toilet really quick. I do apologize. Give me two secs. Keep on turning, but Mary keep on burning. That's a good song. Ah, I seem to have come to a dead end. No problem, I'll just turn around and go the other way. <laughs> oh my god, no! Well, well, well. Hello, PG. Long time no see. Oh no, sir. Hello, help, help me, anyone ever. Help. Well, help. looks like no one's here to save you, PG. Oh, if you want that two pounds, I'll give it back to you, I promise. I don't want no stinking two pound. I just want you dead. Oh no, who will help me now? Ah, oh, beautiful butterfly, you're getting very close to the cliff edge, butterfly. Don't think I won't follow you off it, huh? I seem to be standing on thin air. Goodbye, everyone. Oh. Time to die, PG. What? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Ah, hmm, that was fun. I want to do that again. Oh dear, think they made a mess of you. Hmm, ah, PG. You saved me, b -Rex. you saved me. Come, come, we got a location to find. Ah, beautiful butterfly. Ah, I feel much better now. There is no way I missed anything important while I was gone. So, now on to the final four and rating. With everything said with the good points being I like the concept, I like the going in a different direction, I like the foundation, I like the rules and regulations, like their whole lifestyle. I wanted to know more about that, that'd have been so cool, like to know more about the law. It's been a hundred years since I've been up there. Now, that's a good story in itself, just tell that story, let alone a wrong turn one. But there were so many stupid moments, the bland characters, the inconsistencies, Mr. Burns trying to rescue Smithers from the woods, the plot holes. And the ending, it was just stupid and it, the worst of all it was boring. It wasn't exciting at all. I just was like watching it and this isn't the worst film at all, but it, like isn't being boring just as bad as being bad. So the rating for this was very difficult for me. I was just gonna give it a straight brunt, but then the credits happened. So it's gonna go straight from the bin with a one time spin because this isn't a good film. I kind of don't want to see it ever again. I'd rather watch the old one. That was much better and more entertaining. So guys, that was my review of Wrong Turn. Did you like it? Did you hate Hello, it? Hello, sir. Hi, PG. Sir, I found it. I found the location you were looking for. Yeah, PG, I'm not going to review this movie now. It's gone really dark really quick. Plus, having thought about it, this movie's not worth the effort at all. I'm just going to do a short, sweet, to-the-point review instead. Oh. See you later. So guys, that was my review of Wrong Turn. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it a snooze fest or the greatest film you've ever seen? Come back to the comments and let me know because I am interested. And if you like this video, drop me those likes because it does help me out. But until next time, stay out of trouble.